Hey guys, Joe Isi here again with another amazing, awesome thing for you to check out within Audacity. This time, we're gonna be checking out a thing called noise reduction. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss it. All right, so what is noise reduction good for? How would you use it? Why would you use it in your piece of audio here? Uh, let's take the example of you're recording inside of your house and you've got something like your air conditioner. It's 90 degrees out. You don't want to turn it off uh, because it's 90 degrees out, right? That'd be too hot, especially inside of one of these booths. Uh, you turn it, you, you're recording that and now you've got this, this constant hum that's just kind of hanging out in the background of your audio. Your signal's strong. You've got your voice right next to the microphone, but it's just there. That's what I got here. Noise reduction is good at taking a lot of that out and getting a better end piece of audio out the other side. So let's go ahead and take a listen to this so you can hear what I'm talking about and get a good example. And I'm betting if I, if I bet, uh, you probably run into something like this. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Hear that audio in the background? Hear that hum in the background? That's a fan. I just recorded that with a fan on over here, and we don't want that in our audio. And don't you dare just record with the fan on, especially if you're doing voiceover work. Don't do that. But if you happen to need to clean something up like that, this is how we do it. So noise reduction. What we need to do to start making this happen. Let's select our audio that is not what, what I'm going to dub the source audio the source of my mouth in this case, which is I don't want to reduce any of the frequencies that are involved with the voice, but I do want to re reduce the frequencies that are not my source audio. This is the, the audio that I want to get rid of. This is the background audio. So let's go up to effect. Let's go down to noise reduction. Now that I've selected my piece of background audio that I want to get out of there, click on noise reduction, in this step one, there's two steps here, by the way, two steps. Select a few seconds of noise, just like I said, so that Audacity knows what to filter out. Then click Get Noise Profile. We did it. Let's click it. Boom. So now Audacity knows exactly what you're trying to filter out. It has an understanding of what that is. It's that background noise. Now we're going to go back to noise reduction, and we're going to go to step two. And let me give you a little bit in depth here on step two. I'm not gonna go all the way to the bottom of the pool because there's a lot of stuff and a lot of understanding that you have to do here. So noise reduction, let's look at that first slider here. This is the amount of volume reduction applied to the clip. Number two, sensitivity is how much of this audio that we have selected will be considered noise by the program. And then frequency smoothing is Think of it this way. If I set this to one or higher, it spreads the reduction, the thing, the, the amount of reduction that we're going to do or the reduction of the noise to neighboring bands. Now, if that's too nerdy, go ahead, go down into the bottom of the barrel, go to the link that I'm going to put into the notes here, into the comment, not, not notes, yeah, notes, not comments. I'm going to put it in the notes here and you can go check out and really go to the bottom of the pool if you want to. A thing to know here, uh, high level, if it's like this sample, it's got a relatively low amount of noise, it's not completely overwhelming, and the signal, the thing that I'm trying to keep is really high, then it's a good idea to keep this at zero. If it's the other way where you've got a lot of noise and, it, and then the signal is kind of weak, you're gonna to want to try to change and move up frequency bands. You're gonna to try to change sensitivity. You're gonna to want to actually go in yourself with this clip, whatever you have, and you're going to want to play with these settings. This is how you play with these settings to figure out if you're doing this right, if you're removing the right stuff or the wrong stuff. You're gonna to wanna to click on residue. Residue is the remaining stuff that's going to be taken out of this audio. If these settings are poor, for example, if you slide your sensitivity all the way to the right and you listen to a preview on your residue, you're gonna hear a lot of the things that you said in this clip. That means those are gonna be taken out of the remaining audio or the reduced audio. 
You don't want that. You want to be right on the edge. You want to remove as much audio that is not what you're trying to keep as you can. So residue, if you listen to that, play with the settings, remove as much as you can so that you don't quite tap into the audio that you want to keep. Let me know in the comments if that makes sense. I hope it does. So I've pre-done this just like a good Martha Stewart bakery. I have already done this and I have set these settings to the way they're supposed to be on this piece of audio. I guarantee you, your piece of audio will be different. Now, if you're in the same room and the same air conditioner happens to keep kicking on, you may find something that you can reuse, but try it. Please go play with it. Again, let me know in the comments how this works for you. So I've set noise reduction to 20, sensitivity to 14. I know this works well. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Click. Now, I'm going to go back and forth a little bit for you to see the difference in this audio. And then we're going to play it. So if you look here, there's all our noise in that frequency. Ugh, it's gross. Let's go ahead and reapply our, our, our fix. Click. And look at that. Just drop like crazy. That's what we want to see. So let's go back. I'll play the clip as is. This is the raw clip. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. There you go. Now let's go apply the noise reduced clip here. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Now, it's not perfect. Noise reduction always has some level of artifacts involved because what you're doing is you're trying to remove pieces of the frequency and you can see up the frequency bound here, it actually reduced some of the things that made my voice my voice. So if you overdo this, your audio is going to sound goofy and it's not going to be right. But you can get really close. So play with those settings. Do what you can to try to make this sound great. And I know you can get there. Now, just for fun, I'm going to go back and I'm going to undo this. I'm going to copy this over to a new audio state. And we're going to do the same application of this, but I'm going to use a paid product here. This is a RX7 Denoise. I think they're probably at like RX10 and who knows by the time you watch this video. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the Denoise here. And let's just like look and listen to that same thing. So uh, let, let me go back here. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to make another one here. So now that we've got all these pieces of audio, we're going to have a regular one regular. Let's go ahead. Our second option here is going to be considered noise reduction based on the filter that we've just made. Let's click that. And then I'm going to use the paid product on the third one here, RX7 voice denoise. Let's go ahead and bring that up and look at that. It's got a really fancy interface and all that stuff. It's going to adapt to all of the, the frequencies inside of here. We're going to put noise reduction at 15. Let's go ahead and apply that. And as you can see, it kind of did the same thing right there. Now let's go play them all three in sequence. And when we're done with this, you tell me which one worked better. Listen. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. All right, there you have it. What did you guys think worked better? Is the free product there? Does that work great? Does the paid product RX-7 work? Is that better? Is that worse? Do both of them stink and they messed up my voice so that we wouldn't want to listen to it? You tell me. Leave something in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think. I'd love to hear about it. Um, by the way, if you found this helpful, I would also love, I got another link down there. There's cool links. Uh, buy me a beer. It helps me keep doing this stuff. I love doing this stuff for you guys. You guys have really loved a lot of the, uh, the past stuff about DSers and declickers and like that. Tell me in the comments what you want to see, what you want to hear. Tell me the problems that you're having in your audio and let me see if I can do something to help you with that. I'd love to help you. 
Um, and again, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's what these things do. If I can get there, let's do it. Let's get more people seeing this stuff. Let's help some more people. So thank you guys so much. Have an awesome audio day and record some cool stuff. Thank you.